Hi YouTube. Um, just do another short little video. This is how uh, I make my homemade coleslaw. I buy a bag of the coleslaw mix in the store in the bag salad section and the ingredients that I use for my dressing are mayonnaise, tarragon vinegar, and I love tarragon vinegar, salt, pepper, and my secret ingredient is horseradish sauce. It can be the creamy kind or the regular kind, it doesn't matter. It just adds a little bit of a zing. And as far as how much I use, I just kind of eyeball it, you know, and if it needs more mayonnaise, I add more mayonnaise, and if it needs more slaw, it needs more slaw, and that's how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this together, and I'll show it to you when it's finished. Okay, so here it is all mixed together. And as you can see, it's not real, not real wet or soupy, and that's good because um, as it sits, it's going to break down a little, and it'll start to get some liquid drawn out from the cabbage in there, and it will, you know, you see here how much is in this bowl. It'll probably look like maybe half of that when it's all done and it's um, sat here for a while. And to go along with this, I watched a video from Linda at Linda's Pantry. She's 255 Sage here on YouTube. She did a pork roast for pulled pork sandwiches. And I and my son are absolute barbecue snobs. I will admit it. I love barbecue, but it has to be good barbecue. And her recipe, I never thought of putting the chilies in that she put in hers. So I had gotten a can and they are smoked jalapenos with an adobo sauce. And I'm telling you, they were so hot. It was unbelievable. I actually stuck my finger in it and then tasted it. And I thought, wow, that's really, <laughs> it's really spicy, but it actually makes, you hear my dog? He's whining to outside. Shh. Shh. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to let him out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, he will whine until I let him out because the other dog went out, so now he had to go out. Um, so, okay, I don't know where I was about the chilies, but they... After I used them, I've never used them before. I thought, why have I never used these before? Because it lends such a smoky and barbecue and just a yummy taste to your barbecue that it's something that has been missing ever since I've started making uh, chilies and barbecue. So I'm going to start adding them in, but very little at a time. So I went to the store and they had... Um, I don't even know what cut of pork it was. I think it might have been a loin roast. And I had the guy cut it in half because it was about four and a half pounds. So I put it in my, my crock pot. I have a small crock pot. I put it in, let it cook overnight. Actually, I let it cook overnight and then I let it cook most of the day and it just fell apart and it was delish. So here is my barbecue that it made and I need to add a little bit more sauce to this, but I wanted to tell you about the sauce that I use, and it is Stubbs Smoky Mesquite. I have tried just about every brand in the store, and I'm telling you, this Smoky Mesquite from Stubbs is the absolutely best barbecue sauce we have ever had. Even the people local that make barbecue sauce around here that are supposed to be um, award winners, they can't beat this. I don't know what it is about his sauce, but it's it's incredible. So I'm um, going we'll to show you a picture of the sandwich with my coleslaw and my barbecue, and you can go ahead and drool over your my picture. Thanks for watching. Bye.